Uh, it's time for regression, and today Andrea Faux uh, is going to see if she can help viewer Geraldine Flagg overcome her claustrophobia. Here is the story. My name is Geraldine Flagg, and I'm really scared of lifts, particularly, and small confined spaces. And I really don't know why, because nothing that I can remember has ever happened to me in this lifetime to make me frightened. We're going to go and stand outside the door now. I'm going to open the door for you. No. I'm opening the door for you now, and you're going to take on the thoughts, feelings, and emotions linked to the other side of the door. I don't want to go through the door. It's going to be okay. It's going to be so safe. <gasps> it's okay. It's going to be okay. Remember, it's not happening now. These things are not happening now. We're only going to review them. You do not need to be emotionally attached to the things behind the door. I don't want door. to go through it. <sighs> Can you see what's on the other side? <sighs> okay, we're not going to go through the door, okay? They oh, bury me alive. They buried you alive. Were you male or female? <laughs> female. You're going to be able to tell me exactly what happened without being emotionally attached to the event. Who buried you alive? Village people. How old were you when they did that? Eighteen. What reason did they have for burying you alive? <laughs> that I was a witch. Mm. I wasn't. Why did they think you were a witch? What things did you do that made them think that? Nothing. Did you mix herbs and things? Did you do that? To make people well. Yeah, no. Not to hurt anyone. <gasps> did the people get better? Some did. They mm. said I was different. Because your soul leaves your body in that lifetime. Glad I'm dead. I didn't like that box. Worms. Insects. Sadly, in those days, life was very different and people misunderstood your kindness. And can you see now that that was a good thing that you did, but those people were misguided and that then made you decide in other lifetimes not to be such a nice person. But you don't need to hold on to that anger anymore now. Can you let all of that go? Because you as Geraldine and Jerry, you just don't need these thoughts now, do you? Mm -hmm. Just feel any negative thoughts, feelings and emotions linked to that lifetime. Just being released now out through your feet. Any negative thoughts coming out through your feet. And uh, Geraldine and Andrea join us now. How did you feel watching that? Uh, all right. I thought I might get upset, but because it brings it back. Yes. Mm, yeah. But fine. And how about the fear of confined spaces now? I know that that particular room that you did it mm. was up a lot of flights of stairs, yeah. and you walked the stairs rather than take the lift. Yeah. And when you left the regression, I came down in the lift. Did you for the first mm. time in how many years? Oh. Years and years, I can't remember how long it's that long. And it's, it was a tiny lift as well. Yeah, it, it was very... small. I don't say I particularly enjoyed it, but I didn't. But you did it. Or, yeah. So a considerable. You wouldn't have been able to do that before. No. Considerably better and response. You used to have nightmares as a teenager about oh. being buried alive. Have you had those nightmares? Well, I've, I've had them all through my life. I've mm. been buried alive, but not since the regression, no. 
Oh, Geraldine's right. falling to sleep now. She said mm. before, I didn't know, but you said it used to take you two or three hours to get to mm. sleep, and now she's out like a light straight mm. away. I mean, a, I suppose the thing that keeps you most traumatised is the fact that you were buried by the village people. <laughs> well, yes. <laughs> yes. Yeah, right, that, that one in the Red Indian <laughs> hat can be a swine, can't yeah, he? Quite right. <laughs> <laughs> but you can see that, you know, in those days, that kind of person nowadays maybe be called a homeopath. Yes, can you yes, see, absolutely. You know, it was just in those times, you know, people didn't understand. Well, Witchery. Mm. Geraldine mm. also went back to another life where uh, where she was shot dead. Here's that regression. As my fear of confined spaces, I also get a pain in my left shoulder, which I have no reason why I should have that pain, but I often get it. What can you see in the forest? We're in a forest. Trees. Trees. Mm -mm. Are you a little boy or a little girl? Oh, boy. How old are you? Seventeen, I think. How come you're in the forest? What's happening on that day? There's a man. A man? He's going to shoot me. Why is he going to shoot you? I've upset him. How have you upset him? I don't know. Do you know what your name is? Samuel. Do you know where you are, Samuel? Whereabouts in the world are you? I think I'm in Dorset. Did you do anything in life? No, I'm poor. You're poor? Are your parents poor? Peasants. Or Peasants are poor. Clothes are poor. Mm. Scruffy. So what's happening now? Go back to this point where this man's got a gun. He's angry with me. Why is he angry? I don't know. I think I've stolen something. Mm. And I stole a, a thing. What was the thing? A pouch. A pouch. Money. You've taken money. 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 Oh. What's happening now? He shot me. Where's he shot you? On the shoulder. I'm on the floor. Mm -hmm. I think he's going to shoot me again. I'm glad I'm dying. Mm, why are you glad? Because I won't have to be poor anymore and starve. Yeah. Well, mm. after the news, we're going to see Geraldine give Andrea a bit of a hard time <coughs> when she's regressed back to a moneylender. Yeah, very amusing. You ask a lot of questions. Yeah, I like to ask questions. That's what well, I, I don't about. like answering them. No, I thought not. But I'm going to ask you some more questions. I might not answer. Well, it's up to you, really. <laughs> Three another. completely different characters. <laughs> we're going to go back. After the news, we'll, we'll go back to the, the, the shoulder shot and everything else. Uh, but we've got to quickly tell you about the competition. This is your last chance for one of our experts to make you thousands of pounds richer with Stars on the Spot. <laughs> Today you can choose between Gossip Queen, Ashley Pearson, Finance Superbrain, Martin Lewis or Regression Therapist Andrea Faux to answer a series of general knowledge questions on your behalf. Every one they get right wins you £500. And to be with a chance you need to answer just one simple question and then you let them do the hard work. And the question today is, earlier on we met some of Britain's tallest people but what is the world's highest mountain? Is it A. Evergreen, B. Everton or C. Everest? Give us a call on 09001 10 20 30 as 09001 10 10 20 30 or you can enter online at itv.com slash this morning or press the red button on your remote control now and we will play stars on the spot at about 12 15. we're taking a break for the news now but still to come geraldine gets shirty with andrea when she's regressed to another lifetime and is this the world's dear later now before the break we saw how geraldine flag was regressed to two past lives one where she was a witch and was buried alive the other was where she was shot in her shoulder and died from her injuries well she also went back to a third life where she was a cockney cocky money lender <laughs> let's take a look so what's what's your name john john what's your surname john Thompson. And where do you live? In my drug business. What do you do for a living then? Get money from people. What do people call you? <laughs> you wouldn't like to know. They don't like me. Why don't they like you? Because I make them pay money. And do they need to pay the money? They do to me. 
Why do they have to pay you money? Because I said so. But why, what service have you provided that they need to pay you? Mm, I lend them money and I get more money back. Mm -hmm. And if they don't pay me, there's trouble. And what happens with the trouble? Hmm. I'm not telling you. I can guess what you do. I don't care, I'm not telling you. Does anybody know what you get up to? Nope. Did you ever have any parents? Well, I must have done. Did you ever have any brothers or sisters? Nope. So it's just you? You ask a lot of questions. Yeah, I like to ask questions. That's what well, I, I don't like answering them. No, I thought not. But I'm going to ask you some more questions. I might not answer. Well, it's up to you, really. Have you ever had a girlfriend? Nope.